But if you're if you're looking at a race, you're gonna get intimidated. If you compare yourself in any way, yeah. it's never gonna work out. Well, also, you're just creating stereotypes in your own head. You're perpetuating exactly. the whole myth because exactly. you're saying like, well, if I date a black person, this is what it's gonna be like. If I date like yeah, a exactly. Caucasian person, like you're, you're not actually getting to know the person. You're getting to know the stereotype. Hey guys, it's Joanna with ISA TV and welcome back to another episode of It's Complicated. Um, he was so much fun to have on in our previous episode. We thought we'd bring him back. Peter Adrian, everyone! Hey guys. Yay! Yay! Thanks for having me back. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm excited for this one. Yes, I am. It's been such a long time since the last one. It has been. It has been. We missed you so. Um, so today I thought we would talk about something that's actually, I don't feel talked about a lot, and that's mm. interracial dating. And I know that you are currently in a relationship, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes I am. I feel like interracial dating is great. Mm -hmm. I just feel like in terms of interracial dating, one of the things that really, really like irks me mm. is how under, I guess, valued Asian men are. In terms of like dating, everyone wants to date Asian girls. I feel like Asian guys are like on the bottom of like that ladder, you know? Mm. Like I would I would say Asian girls usually date white guys. From from my previous experience anyways. Mm -hmm. So we can't even date inside our own race. White girls with Asian guys is it's usually really rare, but actually mm -hmm. recently I've been seeing a different trend. Well, that's how I was made. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> your dad's Asian? My dad's Asian and my mom's Caucasian. And But the thing that a lot of times when people talk to me about that, they're like, wow, your dad's the Asian one. Well, and it's yeah. always a, it's always like a shock. Yeah. Well, I, I, was, I like, was shocked. I was oh, like, yeah. oh, <laughs> no. Right? no. Yeah. I'm half German and half Japanese. So my dad's the Japanese one. My mom's ca very, very Caucasian. <laughs> very. Well, very I mean, like, I'm talking like blonde hair. Blonde. Like, yeah, like very, yeah. How did that work? Out. Um, well, they, they met in Hawaii, and Hawaii it's different because everyone's mixed That's of like true. all kinds of backgrounds. So yeah. they met, and he thought she was beautiful, and she thought he was cute, and he kept asking her out and asking her out. And so finally, she was like, okay. And then seven months later, they were married. So, it, yeah, I mean, it's, but I, I will say, like, especially back then, too, you don't really see that mix, let alone yeah. an Asian male with a Caucasian yeah, yeah, yeah. female. But even mm -hmm. what you just said, like, mm -hmm. that, that shows what connotations they have for Asian men. You think that, like, maybe Asian men are portrayed as, yeah, cute Fine. or, like, lovable yeah, or, like, exactly. safe instead of, like, sexy or hot yeah. or, like, what, I don't I, know. I don't, like, well, I think Asian guys are pretty sexy. I, feel I think like, so, too. Yeah, yeah. there's, like, Daniel Henney, my guy, that guy's smoking. <sighs> There's like a bunch of like K-pop stars. I can't name them, but I'm sure they're no, really they're, fucking hot. Yeah, but I mean, I guess compared to white guys, I my girlfriend is actually white. Okay, yeah. And she's um, we get a lot of weird like responses when we first started dating because I've been dating her. Responses for, like, like people on the street or like uh, on comments and comments and how like well people like sometimes like call out things. People were just cat calling her and it was like <gasps> ching chong ching chong. What? Like, I was like, dude, this is like. 2013. Like, yeah. Why are you? It's not something that you would see with other couples. You know, mm -hmm. like, I feel like with Asian couples, you just really get the butt end of the deal. Yeah. Especially as an Asian guy, I think we're so demasculated. Mm -hmm. Definitely in in um, Western media, Asian mm -hmm. guys aren't very like strong. Although that is changing too. One of the, my my favorite um, examples of it is uh, mm -hmm. Stephen Yeun in mm -hmm. uh, Walking Dead. Oh yeah. Because he's he's like the coolest dude on the show like uh, everyone's like man that guy's awesome and he's he's with a white woman on the show yeah and he's like killing it you know? yeah the guy's yeah like being the most macho dude in the world mm -hmm. so things are like slowly starting to change but yeah i feel like that's still it's still something that like people have to get through and mm -hmm. with interracial dating it's even harder when the Asian guys don't have that mentality of like, I can date a white woman. Wow, okay, yeah. And mm -hmm. I have a lot of Asian friends who are like, dude, you're dating a white girl? You made it, bro! And I'm like, what? Yeah, like, and you're like, I just, I like her. Yeah, like, like yeah. I, she's the first white woman I've dated, so mm. it's like, I wasn't like going into it, I'm like, I'm gonna look for a white girl for myself to date. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Personally, I like, I think almost, Almost all of my girl friends that I ever dated was uh, Asian, mm -hmm. but I just clicked with her and I liked her, so we went out. Things. Well, that's how it should be, right? Exactly. You, you find someone that you like, you think they're attractive, and you start dating. A lot of Asian guys like contemplate on it now, and it's like, well, I want to be with a white girl for some specific reason. Mm -hmm. and it's it is what's happening a lot. Like most of my Asian friends are like, well, I gotta find me a white girl. 
you gotta find me a white oh, girl. Crazy. How do you like, deal with yeah. a white girl? Like, yeah, you don't you don't think about it as a race. That's mm-hmm. the easiest way. Like, if you want to, da- if you're Asian, Just dating in general, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, dating in general. Mm-hmm. Well, if you date and you're looking at race, then you probably you're probably come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you're if you're looking at race, you're gonna get intimidated. If you compare yourself in any way, yeah. it's never gonna work out. Well, also, you're just creating stereotypes in your own head. You're perpetuating exactly. the whole myth because exactly. you're saying like, well, if I date a black person, this is what it's gonna be like. If I date like yeah, a exactly. Caucasian person, like you're you're not actually getting to know the person. You're getting to know the stereotype first, exactly. and then you're like psyching yourself you out in a weird way. You have this whole thought in your own head. And yeah. It just creates insecurities. Yeah. And dating, going into a relationship with insecurities is like, if you're going into a relationship thinking, well, this girl only wants to date white guys mm-hmm. then you, the whole time you're in that relationship the moment that she says hi to a white guy you're like oh god i yeah. knew it i knew it <laughs> like you She's can't like, yeah, yeah you can't do that it's not mm-hmm. it's not something that's like healthy but and self-assurance like knowing that you're enough no matter who the other person is other issue too with um interracial dating on the opposite spectrum of that like mm-hmm. when it comes to like Asian girls and white guys, a lot of Asian girls nowadays won't date Asian guys either. Okay. Yeah, like I've, I've experienced multiple times, like I, I asked uh, an Asian girl out and like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't date Asian guys. She said that to you like point yes. blank? Well, like this has happened to me I think three oh, times. Oh, what? Yeah, and I, like I said literally... to you like, I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry I'm vegetarian. Like, oh, I'm sorry I don't date Asian guys. <laughs> like how rude, the, what, how did you react to that? Weren't you just like, well, I'm I mean, sorry? Well, the first time it happened, I didn't know how to react. So I was like, uh, would you like to go out sometime? Mm-hmm. Uh, like I was like, I find you attractive. Like, would you like to go out sometime? And she's like, Oh, sorry, I don't date Asian guys. And I was like, um. <laughs> And then she just walked away. But in my mind, oh, I'm like, my word. Do you know what you are? Do you know? Yeah. Or do you know that you are Asian? Yeah. Like, it's okay to date Asian guys. Why does it matter? It's like if 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 she went up to a white guy and was like. She asked him out and then he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't date Asian girls. Like, how would you feel? That would be so offensive. I mean, both sides are very offensive, but I'm just like, that would be... Why would you get written off just because of your race? Okay, so now it's time for our viewer submitted questions. So let's see. Anonymous asks, how old is too old to have your first kiss? And when did you have yours? Too old, let's see. Yeah, how old is too old to have your first kiss? Well, I guess, when did you have your first kiss? Let's start there. I was 19. Really? Yes. Well, that's that's not too old, is it? No, that's not too old. I mean, I think the truth is like, when you find someone who you want to kiss, who wants to kiss you. Exactly. Oh, however age that is. Yeah. I think maybe 40 might be too old. Yeah. 40 yeah. is too old. That's well, Steve Carell can, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's see, for me, I had my first kiss at Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, six. yeah. I was six years old. He's the love of my life. Um, no, I think it was like at fourteen, and it was with like this guy I had like a major crush on, and oh, that's like the best way to do it. Except, yeah, it was it was I was all excited, and when we kissed, though, it was just I realized that I didn't like. It was so weird. I just realized like the kiss was so awkward, and so it was just so much hype behind it. That like it wasn't as special as really? I thought it should be, yeah. But it's with the guy that you had a crush on. But I had a crush on him, yeah. yeah. And then it just it wasn't. I was all built up in my head, and it wasn't as special as oh, I thought. And then, yes. like later on, when I met my first boyfriend, and we had our first kiss. Then it was like fireworks, better, and it was really, yeah. yeah. But I think your first kiss should be when you feel ready, ready, and yeah. that person is someone that you really like, and they like you, and. Yeah. All right, guys, so that was our episode of It's Complicated. Um, thank you so much, Peter, again, for joining us. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, and uh, where can we find you? You guys can find me online at youtube.com slash apartment210. Awesome. Well, make sure you guys subscribe to ISA TV. Um, submit your viewer questions below, and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.